Hey guys, welcome back to my studio. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas Eve, Happy Holidays. I hope you guys are having a great day. So I am done shopping, I'm done wrapping. Um, and so I have some time this afternoon to do a new painting. So I had a canvas that I painted on before and I've already painted over it, so I wanted to prime it for today. It's a 30 by 40 canvas. Now there are a couple of points I wanna to make today about painting on such a large canvas. One, this canvas takes 45 ounces of paint to cover the entire canvas. Now I only have a half inch um, side to it, so I don't need too much extra. But remember, 45 ounces is mostly Floetrol and water. It's not 45 ounces of paint per se. So that's a good thing. I'm only using two or three ounces of paint for each eight ounce cup that I'm going to be filling today. So the other thing I want to also bring up is that um, people have been asking me questions. How do you know how much um, dump paint or black paint to use on a canvas? And that's a really good question. Now, when I did smaller canvases, like say a 20 by 20, sometimes what I would do is I would actually make sure that I had plenty of ounces of black to literally cover the canvas. And then after that, I would have um, less amounts of the puddle pour. More recently, I've been doing a lot more um, many more ounces in the puddle pour and then less on the black paint that I dump on top because I'm tilting it around and getting the black to cover the puddles and over the edges. So for instance, today I'm probably going to mix about 40 ounces of paint for my puddles. Remember, this takes 45 ounces. I'm going to shoot for roughly 50 ounces overall, so an additional 10 ounces for my black paint, um, give or take. Um, I do extra paint because you're tilting off paint, so you wanna make sure you have enough to cover everything. Because the thing that bothers me the most is when I'm doing this type of pour and I'm tilting, and then suddenly I realize I don't have enough paint, so everything gets stretched out and then one corner is dry. So I wanna make sure I have enough paint. Now, the downfall of that sometimes is I have too much paint. So I really have to pay attention to what it looks like when I put my puddles down, how fluid um, my paints are, because I'm making pretty watery, and then how much black I need to put on top. Whew. So with all that being said, um, I'm gonna do a painting in blues. I'm gonna have some um, citron green, and I'm gonna also add a little bit of phthalo green just to kind of contrast the citron green. So guys, we're gonna get ready here in a few minutes. I'm going to mix all my paints and get them ready for you. And then I'll go over my paints and show you my colors and then we'll get started. See you in a few. Okay guys, I'm back. I've mixed all my paints and these are the paints I'm gonna be using today. So I'm gonna start off putting a puddle of white down and that's got a mixture of Dazzling Metallics White Pearl and Artist Loft Acrylic Flow white, or I should say soft body white. The purple here is Arteza. It is pearl royal purple. This dark blue is going to go on top of the purple, and that is sapphire. It's extreme sheen. Uh, this right here is aquamarine, and that's also extreme sheen. It's going to go on top of the dark blue. And then Decoarts um, citron green. Then on top, just a little bit of Arteza um, Thalo Green. Now there's my black. It's um, Artist Loft Soft Body Black, and that'll be my dump paint. Now I've got about 40 ounces of color. These two are in four ounce cups, and these are in nine ounce cups, but I have roughly eight ounces each um, in there. So guys, um, I'm gonna set things up, get the camera ready, and we're gonna start.
Okay guys, here I am with my initial first walkthrough. Wow, we yeah, really it's cool. Um I know I got glare from the window over there, unfortunately. This room drives me crazy. Look at the color. I you know it's filling in. It's it's interesting. Um some of the cells are round and some of them are just um sort of wonky, but because of the way the color looks, I think it works really well. So let me just move in and show you some of the details. I mean, you can see all of the color. This area through here is pretty cool. I'm glad I have some white. The citron green, you know I'm gonna go in and touch that up because that needs to be touched up. It'll look great. The blue, let me walk around over here. Have this nice strip of blue running through. Yeah, I think color-wise, it's awesome. I think I did a pretty good job picking the colors in the order. Um, I did lose some of the purple. It's sort of down in here, um, but that's fine. I think this is cool. Um, if it dries as is, uh, you will see a very happy person in me, because um, I think this sort of goes for what I'm kind of going for, just not really abstract. It's a pore. Um, it's organic, and the cells popped up. And so, yeah, we'll see if it... If it dries well, I'll show you. Um, it's looking like it's going to dry pretty much as is at this point. It stopped moving. And the corners and the edges are getting dry, so that's a good thing. Okay, guys, have a merry, merry Christmas. Take care, and we'll see you soon.